हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू इंजीनियर्स एकेडमी डू सब्सक्राइब इंजीनियर्स एकेडमी इफ यू आर हेयर फॉर द फर्स्ट टाइम दैट्स द ओनली वे टू ग्रो माय चैनल नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व दिस प्रॉब्लम विच से दैट द कॉर्ड व्हिच इज रैप्ड अराउंड द डिस्क इज गिवन एन एक्सेलरेशन ऑफ दिस ए इक्वल्स टू टेन टी मीटर पर सेकेंड स्क्वेयर वे टी इज इन सेकेंड्स स्टार्टिंग फ्राम रेस्ट determine the angular displacement angular velocity and angular acceleration of the disk when t equals to 3 seconds so we are given the tangential acceleration this is the tangential acceleration since this rope is tangent to the circumference of this pulley or disk so this is given the tangential acceleration and the units also suggest that that this is the tangential acceleration that is meter per second square and the disk start from rest so this means that the initial angular velocity is zero so we are required to find the angular displacement the angular velocity and the angular acceleration after t equals to three seconds now we are given the tangential acceleration and we know that the tangential acceleration in terms of the angular acceleration is r alpha and this is equal to 10t since we are given this in terms of time this is in meter per second square now the radius is the radius of the disk is 0.5 meters so we can write that 0.5 into alpha equals to 10t and by dividing both sides of equation by 0.5 we will get 10 divided by 0.5 so that is 20t so now the angular acceleration at t equals to 3 seconds is we can say that alpha at 3 second is 20 into 3 and this is 60 radian per second square now we know that the angular acceleration is we know that alpha is d omega by dt equals to 20t or we can write that if i multiply both sides of equation by dt so we can write that d omega is 20t dt and since we want to find omega we need to integrate this both side of equation we need to integrate this so 20 is constant that is out of integration and since the disk starts from rest so the initial angular velocity is zero so we need to integrate this from zero to omega and from zero to t so we will get omega from zero to omega and this will be 20 t square divided by 2 and this will be from zero to now putting these limits we will have omega minus 0 equals to so 20 divided by 2 is 10 so 10 t square minus 0 and minus 0 so we can write that this is omega is equal to 10 t square now the angular velocity at 3 seconds is 10 into 3 square so this is 90 radian per second similarly we know that this omega is d theta by dt so we can write that this is d theta by dt and multiplying both sides of equation by dt so we can write that d theta is 10 t square dt and then we can integrate this both side of equation again 10 is again constant so now this will be from 0 to theta and this will be from 0 to t and this will be theta from 0 to theta equals to 10 t cube divided by 3 and this from 0 to t now putting these limits we will get theta minus 0 so theta minus 0 is theta and this will be 10 t cube divided by 3 minus 0 and now theta at 3 seconds is 10 into 3 to the power 3 divided by 3 so this will be 10 multiplied by 3 to the power 3 divided by 3 this gives us 90 so this is 90 radians and if someone asks that uh, find the angular displacement in revolutions so we can say that theta equals to 90 radians 
and we want to convert this into uh, revolutions and we want to cancel out the radians so the radians need to be in the numerator so one revolution is 2 pi radians so divide this answer by 2 pi so that gives us theta the angular displacement equals to 14.323 revolution so this means that in three seconds the disc revolves uh, 14.323 revolutions and for that angular displacement the angular acceleration is 60 radian per second square and the angular velocity is 90 radian per second now we are going to solve this problem we say that the power of a bus engine is transmitted using the belt and pulley arrangement shown if the engine turns pulley a at this function omega a equals to 20 t plus 40 radian per second where t is in seconds determine the angular velocity of the generator pulley b and the air conditioning pulley c when t equals to three seconds so we have to find the angular velocity of the generator pulley b this is the generator pulley b which is connected to this pulley d so this means that this pulley d and and this pulley b they are moving with the same angular velocity and similarly we have to find the air the angular velocity of the air conditioning pulley c so now we are given that the angular velocity of pulley a which is a teach to the engine that is omega a equals to 20 t plus 40 and so omega a at t equals to 3 seconds will be 20 into 3 plus 40 so this is 60 plus 40 is 100 so 20 into 3 plus 40 this gives us 100 so 100 radian per second now is uh, pulley a and this pulley d they are connected through this non-slip belt so the tangential velocities of pulley a and pulley d that will be equal so we can say that the velocity of pulley a the tangential velocity of pulley a will be equal to the tangential velocity of pulley d so we can write that this is r a omega a equals to r d omega d and from this we can write that omega d is equal to r a divided by r d on into omega a so now the uh, radius of pulley a is 75 mm this is 75 and the radius of this pulley d is 25 mm so we can say that the angular velocity of pulley d is equal to 75 divided by 25 into 100 so 75 multiply by 25 this gives us 3 multiply by 100 so this is 300 so the angular velocity of pulley d is 300 radian per second square uh, radian per second and as we can see that this pulley b which is the generator pulley is attached or we can say that they are on the same shaft so they will move with the same velocity so we can say that uh, omega b is equal to omega d is equal to 300 radian per second so this is the angular velocity of the um, generated pulley which was required and then we are required to find the angular velocity of pulley c which is the air conditioning pulley so now we can say that since uh, this pulley c and pulley b are now connected with the help of this non-slip belt so they will have the same tangential velocities so now we can say that the tangential velocity of pulley c will be equal to the tangential velocity of pulley b so this will be rc into omega c equals to rb into omega b so now omega c which is required is equal to rb divided by rc into omega b now rb is 100 mm this is 100 mm right so 100 mm 
divided by our C which is 50, 50 mm, this is 50, multiply by omega B which is 300. Omega B equals to omega D is equal to 300 radian per second. So we will multiply this with 300 and 50, uh, 100 divided by 50 is 2, so this is 600. So 600 radian per second, so omega C. So now from this arrangement, we can see that the engine pulley is rotating with 100 radian per second. And then the uh, generator pulley B is moving with 300 radian per second. And similarly, the air conditioning pulley is moving with 600 radian per second. Now, the second problem is the same. We are given the, um, the angular velocity of uh, generator pulley, which is 60 radian per second. And we are asked to find the angular velocity of generator pulley B and the air conditioning pulley. And further it is said that the hub at D is rigidly connected to B and turns with it. So, so everything remains the same. Here, the omega A was given in terms of uh, this T function. And here we are given the omega value. Uh, directly so now we can we can use all these equations we can use this equation and we can use this equation to find the uh, angular velocity of the generator pulley b and the air conditioning pulley so i will solve it this is 16 13 so we can say that omega a is given which is 60 radian per second and then using this equation omega d is equal to r a divided by r d into omega a now r a is 75 divided by 25 multiply by 60 so this is 180 now omega d is 180 radian per second we just need to replace the omega a values so 75 divided by 25 into 60 gives us 180 then similarly omega c so that will be 100 divided by 50 into 180 so that will give us omega c so this is we can say that uh, 100 divided by 50 multiply by 180 this gives us 360 so omega c for the second problem is 360 radian per second so this is the solution of these two problems i hope that will help you in your learning do subscribe engineers academy for the solution of such more problems from engineering dynamics by hibler